Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number with numbers up to 30. And we will do this for addition. So let's have a look at our first example. We have 7 plus something equals 24. Now, 7 plus something equals 24. So what the question is saying is, what number do we have to add to 7 to give us 24? Now, this question can actually be rewritten. What we can do is we can move the 7 over to here. Okay. The question then will read, something equals 24. Now, when we take the number over, because it's plus on this side, it becomes minus. Okay? It becomes minus. So in this example here, we've got 7 plus something equals 24. On the right-hand side, we've got something equals 24 minus 7. 24 minus 7. Now, 24 minus 7 is something that we can actually do using the vertical format. We'll do that over here. Now, we've done this before. 24 minus 7. Let's label the columns. We've got units and we've got tens. So starting on the right-hand side, as we always do, we're going to be subtracting. It's 4 minus 7. Now, because 4 is smaller than 7, we cannot do this. What we're going to do is we're going to take 1 from the digit to its left. So let's cross out the 2. 2 minus 1 is... 1 and the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to move across to the units column. Now we've done all this in addition and subtraction, so you should be familiar with this. So the units column has now become 14 minus 7. 14 minus 7, the answer is, you should know this, it is 7. As for the tens column, we've got 1 minus nothing, so that remains 1. Therefore, the answer to the question is 17. Okay, 17 equals 24 minus 7. And as for the question we had to begin with, 7 plus 17 equals 24. For that, we get a nice big tick. Okay, let's have a look at our second example. This time we've got something plus 22 equals 29. That's a nice easy one. Now again, we can rewrite this question by moving the 22 to the other side. Therefore, it will become something okay, equals the 29 we have minus 22. 29 minus 22. Now you should be able to do this, 29 minus 22. If you can't, you can always do this using the vertical format. So we've got 29 minus 22. Let's label the columns. We've got units and we've got tens. Okay, we can now do the subtraction. On the right-hand side, we've got 9 minus 2. So what is 9 minus 2? 9 minus 2 is 7. For the tens column, 2 minus 2 is 0. So we don't need to write anything there. Therefore, the answer is 7. Let's write this in the original question. 7 plus 22 equals 29. So you can either use the number grid to do this, or for numbers up to 30, you can very easily just move the number across and then do the subtraction. Okay, so that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to 30 when we are doing addition.